time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go uh, We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Test it, trade it, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, Wednesday, January 3rd. Hope all is well. Got a little shake and bake going on once the uh, FOMC minutes came out. S&P at 4722, down 23. NASDAQ down 123, Russell down 36, down almost full 2%. Dow down 148. Gold and silver, both in the red. Notes and bonds slightly green. Uh, oil up 3.5%, natty gas up 3.5%. A little mixed in the grains, euro and the pound mixed. And Bitcoin off 5% after a big up day yesterday. Gave it all back. Looks like we may get five wide for tranche one. So yeah, I'll be going full normal position size. My zero DTE bots were very active today. So I had a, uh, my overnight iron condor closed out at basically a scratch. My JSPs got smoked in that initial down move. Uh, my AM ratio, 70 minute trade, uh, small loss. It's a test trade. Uh, my AM ratio Wednesday, half of it, or no, yeah, got out of all of it at 50%. DKS hit 40%. My 945 trade hit 40%. And then the other profit targets at 80%, but I was just lightening up positions. Uh, to make room for some quiet lunch that came in. So hit 40% on quiet lunch, the early version. And then again, I lightened up because I was taking the other quiet lunch, which also hit 40%. Then my PM iron condor got smoked. And I still have on my one DTE iron condor, which is up 27%. And my other half of my quiet lunch is up uh, 43%. And I'll let that one ride, hopefully hit 80%. So all in all, going into power hour up about 3,500. Uh, it qualified according to my bot. Yeah, gap down was only 0.37. I don't know what the move down was when it entered, but it looks like it'd been less than 0.5. So my tranche one will start coming in at about 56. By the way, do you guys hear any background noise? I've mentioned this before, but they're redoing all the balconies in my office here. So it sounds like they're, there's a jackhammer on cement right above me. But if you guys can't hear it, that's good. I have to put headphones on so I can just hear myself think. As long as it's not coming through on the mic, that's good. We've had a few days in a row of uh, red. 
keep getting a little bouncy, bouncy action after the initial downturn. Still looks like it should be five wide. Yeah, it's been going on for months tomorrow, and the balcony right outside mine isn't scheduled to happen until next summer. So it's a big, big building, big, big project. So my tranche one will start trying to enter here in one minute. Now it looks like it may be a straddle. We're right at a strike. It'll probably be a straddle if it's kind of in between. It might get five wide. I tweaked my MRP. I tweaked mine to 57 on uh, normal days. I think I mentioned it in my trade update. It's on the back test as well on the links. All right. Filled on the five wide, 25s and 20s. At seven even. Seven dollar. Now, in fields, that's just when uh, Jerome Powell speaks and they do the actual FOMC rate release. These are just the minutes from the last meeting. But sometimes the wording in the minutes causes a little little price action, but I don't I don't do anything different around minutes. Just the actual press conference. All right, so what else did I do today? I took off a time fly, booked a quick profit from the one I put on yesterday. Still have this uh, January 5 that's getting caught in this little droop. I was hoping we were going to get out of this little valley to the downside, but then it bounced. So I'm going to take it off tomorrow regardless. Hopefully we can get a... 50 point move in one direction, preferably lower. Fix is at 13.56. Was as high as 14.22 this morning before getting crushed.
Yeah, exactly, Mage. I was I was looking at that yesterday too. Did not do my Wednesday two five DTE double calendar today or B and B. Just wait till. I'll start kicking back up my calendar spreads on Friday for next week. I did take that 2-3 DTE yesterday. That's up a few percent. Yep, I'll start back up full force on Friday. Just wanted to get through this last shortened holiday week. Hit my profit target on my one DTE yesterday at 45% after that big move up after the market on close. And then my current one today is up 32%. I will adjust my stop on tranche one. Price gets down to 420. Oh, my overnight iron condor just got filled 1025. So that would be this one here. Let's be sharing a strike here. So it would be this. Yeah. So my overnight, I see the shorts are 46.95 and 47.45. SPX pulling down a little bit, down to 47.15. Cody, yesterday, the one I put on yesterday that closed This morning, got out for a scratch, plus 25 bucks.
All right, just sending a DM each. SPX ten forty seven fifteen. I have uh, two accounts trading naked. I've got a portfolio margin and I've got a standard margin account. I, one's in the one's in the name of an entity. So my standard margin is in the name of an entity. Right, about six minutes until tranche number two. See, my one DTE's got the 4,700, 4,740. So it could use a little stabilization. Tranche one definitely needs a bounce. Uh, Eli, it's got a, it does put in the limit order for the profit target, but the, uh, but the stop is held not on toss. It's PX getting a little getting a little red. I stopped for tranche ones at eleven bucks. It's currently trading at nine fifty. So it's gonna need a bounce. That's correct, Eli. So I don't, but I don't have a, uh, I don't have a profit target for tranche one. So I just close it the last five minutes. Tranche one trading at 1050 stops at 11. Any more down move? Tranche one is going to be toast. Don't forget, for those of you who can attend, Tim Weiss's trade plan presentation after the bell today, 30 minutes after the bell.
No power hour for you today, Dick K. Well, we got a little bounce to escape the stop so far. I did. My tranche one's trading at 9.15, stops at 11. Tranche two is gonna be coming in here shortly. My quiet lunch is at the 47.10, 47.25. So it could use a little bounce as well. Same with my one DTE. Yeah, M Fields, I completely disagree with that. And I don't, I don't know what, I know you're paraphrasing, but from my standpoint, I, I, I think having a daily goal and stopping trading once you hit it, I think is a, I completely disagree with that. As far as time in the market, as far as, you know, minimizing your time in the market, there's obviously something to be said for that, but. As far as the uh, daily profit goal hitting it and being done, I just, I just don't, I can't, I can't get behind that. All right, here comes Trunch Two. Looks like it'll be the fifteens and tens. Got filled on, yep, 10s and 15s, filled at 648, 650. Yeah, I mean, for me, I, I, I have a trade plan. You know, I have a plan going into every, all, you know, each day. And I mean, when, especially, you know, for if things are going well, I think a lot of times they continue to go well, but not always. I mean, obviously you can have, you can be up in the morning and then give it back a power hour, but, and, and maybe it's, maybe it is more um, relevant to, you know, directional trading. But to me, even for directional trading, I think you have a plan going in. If you're, if your setups are there, you know, your A plus setups, let's say, I just, I, I don't, I don't see how it makes sense to stop trading. You know, it's like, let's say you're, let's say you're, you're a trend trader. Well, if the market's trending, don't you want to just squeeze as much out of that as you can? Don't you want to stay in that? Um, so I don't, I don't know that guy. I don't know how much he, I don't know how he trades. I don't know anything of that about that, but that's just me. You know, you gotta, you gotta, to really, you know, create alpha in your account too. I mean, you gotta, you gotta have those big days that come along not very often.
Tranche one's trading at 1040, stops at 11. Need a bounce. Uh, yeah, it's just putting on a overnight iron uh, iron condor towards the end of the day based on specific criteria and then taking it off in the morning. I just found it. The scenarios that I found just kind of test well, work well. Which tells me something, Dark Avenger, that you still don't have option Omega. What was your promise going into the new year? Promise me. Are you breaking your promise? SPX at 47.11. That's right. Put on the dunce cap, go in the corner. You are doing yourself a huge disfavor, my friend. Oh, just sometime in 2024? Stopped on tranche one. Stomped on Trunch 1 at 11.25. I like that analogy, be more trader. And a 47.10. Looks like we're bouncing a little bit off that. Tranche three here in about five minutes. So Dick K, you stopped using Trader Sync, huh? It's too much grouping that you had to sort through. It is a little. It is definitely worse with the bots because you know when I was manually entering, I would always choose a long option that was a different strike for tracking purposes. Well, the bot doesn't do that, so they they definitely get grouped more. Definitely a little bit more manual separating. What about, since all your stuff is botted now, what about the tracking in uh, Trade Steward? Have you looked into that much? I have not dug too much into that because they don't track futures or futures options. You've been you've been using it a little bit, Meech. Gotcha. What about the reporting? Does it 
spit out any good reports, statistical data. Gotcha. S and P down thirty five. Nasdaq down a full percent. Russell down two point seven five percent. Look at that Russell. Look at that little Russell run. Energy is green. Everything else is red. On the sector front, retail is the weakest, and regional banks. Semiconductors, big red day again. Tesla down over three and a half. Coinbase down three. NVIDIA down one. Baba and Baidu are green. Google's green. So let's see, tranche two, I got filled at 650. So I will reduce my stop if it gets down to 390. What about now, Dick? Can you hear me okay? It may have been the uh, the background construction noise kind of coming through my mic. Tranche two at fifteen percent. My quiet lunch up uh, 57%. My one day iron condor up 27. Madam Butterfly in the house. How are you? Trunch three just got filled. That's on the 05 puts and the 15 calls, 10 wide for 525. So between 10 and 15 is the sweet spot.
S and P's is bleeding. Dex trying to get back up to fourteen. It's driving these regional banks lower. Ten-year yield. It's not doing much today. It's down a little bit. I guess almost the percent. Yeah, I do. I still have my natty. It's up about 30% right now. Need a little down move. Oh, I did sell a uh, sell some premium in the euro today. Volatility is creeping up on the euro, so I sold some premium there. What what is key about forty seven oh eight, Krish? Is it a crystal ball level? Oh, that doesn't mean anything. VIX popping. Right, but what did I say in the course about it? It's not that I don't trust it. It's just another it's just another level. It's how you manage around that level. All right, tranche three, a little bit red. Tranche two, up 12%. Need a bounce. Just a little bounce. Eight hundred and fifteen million to the buy side. It's the early indication. I already owe you some barbecue, Dick. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I think we do bounce. I think we get a bounce tomorrow. Right. Do not bet against the machine.
Stormer, how can I see the actual floating profit in dollars for each individual tranche and toss? So what I always do is I just I just look at the monitor tab. Now, if you're sharing strikes like I am, and then I just these this is tranche two and three together, and you can just hover over it and it shows what your current PL is. So between tranche two and three, um so I come up about 3900 Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, so on your monitor tab, just click on the short strikes that you have in your different tranches. I have... Uh, I'm sharing a short a short strike between both my tranche two and three, so I just have them all clicked on. So this is my combined tranche two and three. If you're if you're sharing a strike, then you can't separate them. All right, SPX, calm down. I said just a little bounce. Tranche two is up thirty percent. I need three ninety to reduce my stop. It's currently at 450. Uh, you can see that on your monitor tab. So on your monitor tab, once you get filled, you could um, you can split those into the you know tranche one, tranche two, tranche three, and, and create a group for them and then you can see the dollar amount that way so for example if i go down to these strikes here and i said okay i want to take let's 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 just let's just assume for example purposes that 4710 puts and 4715 calls were my tranche you can highlight those right click and say move to group and then you can add group and you can call it whatever you want and then once, and then you just move those to that group and then they're set up like this. And so you can see how much you made for each or how much it's up for each one. Hey Vic, welcome. If you go to the trade plans channel, posted it there uh i every month um i put out my trade plan and it includes all the strategies i'll trade as as well as the uh the back test links that shows all the criteria not to mention there is a, a lot of gold in that channel from other experienced traders that have uh, shared their trade plans as well. All right, back up to 15s. We need to stay between 10 and 15. By the way, if there's anybody here who has a trade plan and thinks there's something of value that they'd like to share with the group, We'd love to hear from you. Haven't had anyone present in a uh, couple months. Let's see who's the last one. Last one was Maro. Yeah, Wugas is on October 26th. 
Ben Ryan P went early November and Mara as well. Yeah, sharing your plan, getting feedback, it'll just it'll make you a better trader, no doubt. All right, trench two is thirty up thirty six percent, getting close to that forty percent. So, if those of you getting started with Trade Steward, I know I've uh, mentioned this a couple of times, but this is always kind of confusing at first. So, I entered at six fifty. So, once it gets down to three ninety, I'm going to reduce my stop to two bucks over the current price. So. Once it gets down to 390, I would reduce my stop to 590. It's all in re uh, relation to this opening credit price. So 650 minus 590 is 60 cents. So I would need to reduce this to minus 60 cents if it gets there. Uh, I think there's a column on the uh, monitor tab as well, Stormer, that you could put percent. I don't have it, but uh, let's see. p l percent. Yeah, I noticed that too, Eli. Sometimes I do get filled with the bot, not in five cent increments. I don't know what that P and L percent is actually measuring. So I, actually, I don't know the answer to that, Stormer. If there's a way to do that. All right. 390, reducing my stop. So what I'm saying is I got to go 60 cents under the opening credit. So I change that to minus 0.6. All right, so tranche two is up 40%. Tranche three is up 35 It might be that I got, oh, let's see, tranche two. Oh, yeah, that's what happened. So see this, Eli? I got filled on seven of my contracts at 650 and the rest of them at 645. So Trade Steward is just showing the uh, the average.
for the uh, for the overnight net trading naked. I mean, this the stops aren't going to trigger overnight anyway. So, and I take it off in the morning. So yeah, no stop. Your risk is managed by your position size on that one. Actually, it should be managed that way in all cases. My my last piece of my quiet lunch is up 67%, looking for 80% on that one to close. My 1DTE is up 32%, looking for 45% on that one. SPX back down to All right, a little over 15 minutes till the bell. I'm going to do a little test today. If we get a, uh, if we get, what I'm going to start doing is a little test. If we get a number, either buy or sell of 5 billion or more on the market on close number, the final one. I'm just going to buy an in the money call or in the money put, depending on which way. See if I see if I can be quick enough to do anything about that number. So a couple couple of strikes in the money, and back down to forty seven oh eight. Yep, call on buy, put on sell. SPX bleeding lower again. Minimum of two billion sell side, okay.
final final number will come out in three minutes. Hanging around forty seven oh eight. Got uh, five wide on both trunch or ten wide on trunch three, so might consider taking something to the bell if it is positioned correctly. Going in, going into the end. VIX up to right we need to get rick back in action All right, 30 seconds till the market on close and bounce. Two two point five billions sell side. Just bought some puts. See how that works out. And I got stopped. And we're selling off below the expected move now. Got stopped on a trunch two for profit. So I'm on the forty seven fifteen puts at nine eighty. They're trading at twelve bucks already. Tranche three is trading at 615, slightly in the red now. I'll close half my puts at 14 if it keeps pushing lower. But we're getting a little bounce.
mean, that was only 2.5 billion, but it flipped from buy to sell. So just testing those puts. Tranche three back in action, up 44%. And going back down. Good call, Anil. Good call. My puts that I bought for nine something are at almost 14. Filled on one of them. So bottom at 980, closed one of them at 14. Trunch three is not liking this move. Trunch three is trading at 890, stops at 1125. I'll close my last one out at 15 if it pushes down again. Ooh, look at that bounce. Holy moly. All right, I'm going to get out of that. That's all right. So I made a few bucks on one, lost a buck on another one. Tranche three is back in action. Just need to stay between 05 and 15 to the bell. Quite a bounce. My quiet lunch is at thirty nine percent. Did I just fill? What was that?
That's what I think it was. But why did it? Oh, that's right. Never mind. Yeah. I, I was thinking I just had a profit target on that. But yeah, it uh, closes at four minutes to the bell. So that's what it was. So I made 26% on my, or 24% on my 1DTE. This one here. It's a little over 1,600. Tranche three is up to 82%. You just stay above 05 for a pin. I'm going to go ahead. So I'm going to close out my last quiet lunch here. Above 05, Mr. SPX, can we make that happen? Just a little point higher is all I'm asking for in the next minute. What I don't want is a quick sell-off into the close. All right, 06, there we go. Give me a little cush. Trunch three will be good for 3,264 if it pins. I, I made a thousand on uh, 1,075 on trunch two, and then I lost uh, 4,250 on trunch one. Oh, back below 05. 10 seconds. Get up there. Get your little ass up there. Ding, ding, ding. Settle in at 4704.79. So not quite a pin. Still a little over 3,000 on uh, on Trunch 3. So basically a break even for Power Hour. Plus 3,000, plus 1,000, and minus 4,000 on Trunch 1. On the day... Basically plus 2000 bucks for all my zero DTE. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work for 2000 bucks. And my bot worked hard today. <laughs> all right, my friends. Uh, so live stream for tomorrow. Tomorrow is the fourth. So I will be back in action in the morning. Streaming for zero DTE in the morning and then, of course, back for power hour again tomorrow afternoon. And then don't forget, check the Tim Weiss channel for the Zoom link for the Tim Weiss presentation in 30 minutes from now. 29 minutes. All right, all. Take care. Have a good night.